Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Zig. Um, my actual name is Zara, but my friends call me Zig. And today I wanted to take us way back in time, like way back last year, around April, May. Um, that's when I got these two bottles of Sugar Bear Hair Vitamins. So I took one, just, you know, taking it on and off. And I had a lot of comments from people saying, oh, your hair looks you know, bigger, longer. So I was like, maybe it's these. So I thought, well, I'll put them aside, the next bowl aside, until I actually have time to measure my hair, really take it properly. Fast forward to now, or not even now, like back in March. I know, I've been away for a while. Um, I had enough time to actually measure my hair. So here is a clip of what my hair looked like and how long it was. I had Alex help me measure it um, when I first started taking the 30 day supplement. It's the 11th of March and I'm going to start taking sugar bear hair vitamins. It's about 10 inches. 10 inches? Yeah, slightly, slightly over 10 inches. It'll be a lot shorter. But... It's about nine inches. Okay, so just only an inch shorter, there. that's good. And maybe I'll just take a piece from the crown as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's longer. That's like, hang on. Keep my head straight. Yeah, that matters. Okay, that's, that's just under 13 inches. Nice. That's a bit of that's so I've never been into kind of hair vitamins of any kind, to be honest. All I kept seeing about all types of hair vitamins was horror stories. Obviously it was celebrity endorsed, but there didn't seem to be any side effects. It's supposed to be a new gummy, it tastes really good. So that's what intrigued me about these particular ones. So you get 60 pieces in a bottle and the bottles are around 30 pounds. So no, not the cheapest. And more than likely you're going to want to buy more than one jar so it's going to set you back 60 plus quid so my first thing to say is they are really delicious they are really really tasty got this kind of berry flavor kind of citrusy as well i really enjoyed it so there's definitely no hardship in you know having to take down those horrible pills or swallow anything with water you just chew them they're vegetarian, they're soy free, gluten free, so a lot of other things that people can't take due to capsule casings and other things, there's no issue with. So I'm just going to read off what it says it has inside the little gummies. Um, it's got sodium and it has obviously got sugars in there, that relates to the taste. And it does also say it contains vitamins A, C, D, E, it also has vitamin B6, B12. Um, vitamin B in general, all the B vitamins are really, really essential in cell renewal and building muscle and building tissue. So that's probably why it's so great for hair, skin and nails, obviously skin being the largest organ. So it's really great again for your hair and making sure that comes out really nice, healthy, shiny, strong. Um, it's got zinc, biotin, we all know biotin is really, really great for speeding up hair growth and again, increasing strong, healthy hair. And it's got general kind of sugars, natural flavours, and it's also got coconut oil and caruba wax, but that's more to do with like the structure and again the flavouring. So I had them twice a day and I decided to actually wait until the fifth week because I thought about it in kind of like when you take antibiotics or other medicines, they usually say that it's still working in the system. So I thought I'd finish the 30 days and give it an extra week. And I guess before going into this, I really did want to see, was my hair going to be thicker, longer, healthier in general, the way that I had assumed it was last year. So this is what my hair looked like one month later. How much is? Okay, so that looks like 11 inches. 11? Mm-hmm. Cray cray. It w I think it was 10 before. Uh, I'd say it's about 13 and a half. Okay, so it was 13 before. It's about 10 inches. So that's an inch of growth as well. That's really cool. That's really cool. An inch in a month is a lot. So my hair grew one inch. 
pretty much one inch all over. Thankfully, I didn't have any side effects, like I didn't have acne or breakouts. In terms of my nails, my nails grow quite quickly anyway, so I can't attribute it to that. I, I was about to say I didn't have any excess hair growth. Yes, I did. I had three hairs on my chinny chin chin. I had two here and three here. I could have done a braid out on this side and a twist out on this side. I was not happy about it. And I know it was definitely these sugar bear vitamins because since I haven't taken them, I haven't had a single hair here. So I'm a bit like, whoa, it just seemed to trigger something <laughs> in my chin that made them, I don't know, come out darker or longer or whatever. But I was constantly having to pluck these whiskers from my chin. So it definitely does increase hair growth in areas. Now here's what it didn't do, which I'm really disappointed about. I thought that my hair would be a lot thicker. It was definitely longer, but it wasn't thicker. It didn't hold on to any more hairs. Like my hair does shed quite a bit. Um, and I thought that maybe that would limit the shedding and thus my hair would appear thicker. It didn't do that. I also kind of was really intrigued to take them because I wondered what it would, what effect it would have on my hairline. As we all know, I have quite the battle with my hairline and the fragility of it. And yeah, it didn't boost anything in that area at all. It just all seemed to come to my chin. I didn't have any negative side effects. Hair thinning, hair excess shedding. I didn't have any of those kind of issues that a lot of other hair vitamins seem to have or have been recorded to have. They're definitely can stick to their claim of not having any known side effects. It's definitely super trendy. They're really good at following the kind of social media flow of things. If you look at their Instagram, it's absolutely amazing. And of course, people like to tag Sugar Bear Hair and get featured. It's all very clever. It's quite marketable, you know, it's very trendy. And I think that's another reason why people are just really sinking their teeth into them. But I really think people should read things really carefully before they just go off the assumption as to what they actually do. If you go to the kind of questions page on their website, under the question, what do sugar bear hair vitamins do? It says that they grow longer and stronger hair. I'm not denying that it does, but I do think that they kind of have used marketable words to kind of make it appear as though that's what it does. The things that it does do is what most multivitamins do is improve your health, add on to the things that you are already have in your body and have it working at 100%. I think it's a very Western thing because we convince ourselves that we don't have enough time and we don't have enough patience. So we're always looking for a quick fix to all of our problems, you know? Definitely think these vitamins really tap into that kind of Western mentality of, I want it now, beauty, long hair, etc, etc. So don't kind of fall into that trap. If you are looking to take a hair vitamin, you just want to see how it goes, 100% take these. I think they work, but I don't think they're a necessity. That's just how I feel. And I'm not going to take any further supplements or anything like that because I don't have any interest in them. And I think my hair has been doing pretty well without them. So if you have any further questions, please do leave them in the comments down below. Have you taken sugar bear hair vitamins or any other vitamins? How have you found them? Please do let me know. I'd love to keep the conversation going. I'll see you in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.